lot of animals in this community who are suffering and homeless, and the Humane Society of Indianapolis gives those animals a chance. There are so many animals out in the world which are looking for a home. The supply far exceeds the demand. When I, I see an animal, a dog or a cat that's brought in that's been terribly abused, I know that that animal is in good hands and it's safe. We work really, really hard here to um, maintain animals' quality of life and and get them into forever homes. A lot of other organizations like this wouldn't take the time to take care of those really, you know, kind of downtrodden animals. We try to counsel people who are making that very difficult decision, whether it's a 10-year-old pet that they've had since a baby or a stray that they just found, that we will do everything possible and these pets are safe when they come to Indy Humane. Pets are anchors, I think. They are emotional anchors. They're like having a, a child there, somebody to care for, somebody to come home to. When you have the opportunity to cradle an animal in your arms and comfort them and then see them successfully adopted, that's why we do this. There's always hope. Um, I think any dog um, can be rehabilitated and can be helped, and especially when you have as many volunteers and as many caring people that you have here at Indy Humane. One of the things that people think about working in an animal shelter is that it would be a tremendously sad place. The truth is, it's a really happy place when you work at Indy Humane because we really are able to offer these animals the very best in, in shelter care. <laughs> When an animal arrives, they receive um, a complete physical examination. If an animal is, um, for example, a hit by car, we would triage whatever the situation is. Um, basically, when an animal comes in, they'll go through um, just an overall assessment with our medical staff. So our medical staff is going to check them over and give them vaccinations. If any of the dogs have a particular issue, they need a little bit of help with. So uh, say they don't like to share their food with people, they're really shy and fearful, um, they're really hyper and mouthy. Those are all things that we can work with. Let's go! We're going to see how they do with being handled, so we're going to be generally annoying, look in their ears, tug on their tails, pinch their sides, so if they're going to go home with kids, we'll see a little bit of their reaction to that. Um, we also see how they do playing with toys, and how they do um, sharing their food with people, so if they like to share their food. Um, and then finally, how they interact with other dogs. Good girl! Very good! Good, good, good girl! Last year, we logged 25,000 hours of volunteer time. That's from walking dogs, that's from helping us clean the kennels, that's from doing laundry. Those red shirts are, are uh, just uh, wonderful things to see here every day. Right now we're set at 300 animals, that's our head count. So on any given day, and we literally look at it every single day, the head count is 300 animals. Indy Humane does not euthanize here for time, space, or length of stay. Indy Humane only takes in as many animals as we can care for, and so that allows us to provide everything that that animal needs. It's a beautiful, well-organized facility, you know, run by great people with a vision. Mm -hmm.